guys. Today we are going to be starting our Honda GX160 teardown video. It's going to be a two part series. First part we're going to disassemble, take the whole block apart, all the way down to basically the block. And then part two we're going to clean, reassemble, rebuild, and fire it up. Alright, now we're going to start on our Honda GX160 teardown. That oil is not the prettiest. That's all it had in it. Holy crap. My thing is, we don't need to take the governor out, do we? For the kids? We'll leave it governor.
so yesterday we started pretty late and uh, ran out of some daylight on this teardown so we're going to continue today I had to spray some uh, PV blaster around the shaft because the casing was rusted on side cover but yeah Seriously? Mm. Push rides. I took out, I was going to take the rod off, but inside, we're still going to remove our flywheel, which 
is not going really smooth right now. Okay, flywheels broke loose. Um, we all have our own ways to the madness. Mine was flathead screwdriver and this guy because I couldn't find a hammer. So, well, it works. I had to put it on the ground, step on it, and beat the crap out of it. But I probably bent some stuff. So next I want to take out my key, flywheel key, put this back on the pulley, or put this nut back on, I beat the crap out of it, it's all in level. I'm going to take our hammer and hit on this, and get, give it some love, not really, hit like three hard hits, we knock this out. This is all rusted up and nasty looking so I'm going to clean all this up and these it you can see it right there it's got some uh, pretty big scores on it like I can run my finger across it and there's some grooves almost like when your uh, brakes go out on your car it's a bad comparison but when your brake pads dig into your rotors it's got that same effect, so I don't know how I'm going to have to approach this, if I can just machine that out or something. But, that's it. The disassembly is almost done. I think it is, basically. Uh, yeah. And then this metal plate here can come off, but I'm going to leave it on there. That is it. This thing weighs like nothing right now. We are leaving the oil sensor in there, because this is going on the kids' go-kart. I'm going to fill all the gaskets off and uh, start cleaning it up. That's going to be in our next video, uh, part two. Uh, this was just a complete teardown. Took a couple of days to do it uh, due to time, you know, family and work. So I honestly want to start cleaning on it now, but that's it. We get everything removed. So I didn't want to remove the piston, but you know, it happens. The piston, side plates. A nice little bit of cam. Put your rods, the head, probably port and polish the head. Maybe not, I don't know. It's a kid's cart. Flywheel. All, all laid out here on the table. That's it. Everything just, uh, you can get it done in a day if you spend the whole day on it. Uh, don't rush through it. I kind of rushed through some of it. Uh, you can mess stuff up. 
you can break stuff. So just take your time. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this. Sorry about the rain. Got one more thing before we go. So you guys saw all the oil and the sludge in the bottom of this thing. That's it. Okay. When I drain the oil out of this, this is like all we got. Ready? Like, that's it. That is all the oil, like two caps. I mean, it's still a little bit in there, but two caps of this. So all the oil this thing had, and we ran it. So, it's not good.